Hello, my name is Hope Kaya. This is a tutorial in how to copy an existing page on a site built with Joomla in order to create a new similar page. Joomla is a content management system which I use so that my clients can manage their own content. You can learn about it at Joomla.org. So the first thing you want is to have your site open. All these treasures are people in their 70s and over in Santa Fe who are treasured and nominated to be Santa Fe living treasures and we want to learn how to add a new treasure. So we're going to take an existing web page and copy it and put new information in it. So that there once we do that this Joomla is designed uh, and laid out here so that their name will automatically show up alphabetically here. Okay, so you go, you have the front end of your website and then you have the back end of your website which is the same URL as the front end of your website only it has administrator after a forward slash. And after you've logged into Joomla with your username and password you can go to the article manager which is listed under content article manager. And then you can search for, you can isolate the category that has the pages in it that you are going to be working with. So that in this case is the treasures category. So now I'm only looking at articles that are in the treasures category. And we're going to just simply copy the first one here. And we're going to copy it by clicking the checkbox and then the copy button up here. Best not to click on the trash button. Not that you can't recover it, but the point here is to copy it. So we're going to copy it and we're going to choose the category where it belongs. Otherwise it won't show up. So we're in the right place. So we're going to hit treasures and treasures because it's the living treasures section and the treasures category and hit save. So now we have two of the same right now and we'll click on the second one and start adding information. So I already have a page open for this new treasure um, which happens to be on the old version of the website on my hard drive so I'm switching over to that here and this is this treasure's name and information and we're scrolling all the way down and highlighting all that text and then we're going to right click and copy or you can choose edit copy going back into the back end of our site highlighting all the text in the right hand column and pasting. So we're at the bottom we may as well work with what's at the bottom we're going to highlight the bottom paragraph it's already italicized so that's good all we need to do is right align it Okay. Then we're going to highlight the rest of the paragraphs and make sure they're formatted as paragraphs. So you go to the format drop down and choose paragraphs. And then when you click inside each paragraph, you'll see that it's showing up as paragraph. Now, life dedicated to nursing is the subhead. So we're going to get rid of that because that belongs in the left column. And we're going to overwrite what was there with the previous um, treasure. We're also going to change it from a heading 3 to a heading 2. Okay, so there you go. Now we need the name to go into the left hand column as well. So we're highlighting the name and pasting it under the picture. Now if we go back to the previous page we were on, we'll see that she was honored February 1986. So we go over here, make sure it goes in here, February 1986. Now we've got some other areas on the site we need to deal with. We've got metadata information and you can see that it's got the wrong name on here so we need to put the right name on here and we need to repeat that here in both areas of the metadata as well as changing the date. 
So that may or may not be true for your uh, site, but it's always good to have unique metadata, to some extent unique metadata for each page here. So now we've got the text, we've got the header, we've got the second header, we've got the name again below the picture, we've got the secondary header, we've got the date, we've done it, that we've, we've updated the metadata for the date and the name. I just undid my little mistake there. And then we need to get a new picture, right? So we don't actually have a picture for this person, but if we did, we would delete this one and then scroll to the bottom and choose the image button. You might think of choosing this little button, but that doesn't have a browse function. So it's best to click on this big image button here. And now the headshots for this site are located in a folder called headshots. And I do recommend that you, you have folders that are specific for certain areas of the site just to keep things organized. So we actually don't have a picture here. If you had one on your hard drive, you can choose to browse your hard drive. And in this case, we're looking for 200 pixel wide images. You could grab something that's up to 300 and just modify it. Um, we will grab a picture here and pretend it's correct just to play. We're going to open it. We're going to upload it. Well, actually, if I, it's already uploaded, so I'm not going to upload it. I'm going to select one here. Let's grab this. And then you would put the person's name here and here. And then you can choose insert. Okay. So now you can see this is this is wider than 200 pixels wide and you want to grab the right hand corner and you'll see the little numbers change as you make it 200 pixels wide. It can be within a few pixels either way. It's not critical that it be exact. Okay, the next thing we want to do is create a page break so that the page isn't too long. So put your cursor maybe this far down in the page and choose page break. And then we need to name it Anna Barth page two. And you don't have to do the alias and choose insert the page break. Insert the page break. Now you can scroll to the top and this is probably the most important thing is that you're putting the last name first and the first name second. Then you delete the alias. If you don't put the last name first, this is not going to fall alphabetically. I'm going to remove this picture because we actually don't have a picture yet. And otherwise it looks good. So at this point you can just save or apply first to see if it's all showing up correctly. Go back to your elders list, refresh, and now actually I see we did have a, an Anna Barth on here, so I've just made a duplicate. So we do need to delete what I've just done, um, but that's how you do it. It's as simple as pie. Let's see which one we did. So this one has a continued page after work at Mercy. So we want to see which one to delete, but uh, let's see, let's go back. Oh, look here, where did it go? Yeah, Mercy. Okay, so this is the one we want to delete, and I'm just going to give it a slightly different name, so I'll delete it, and now save it. But that's all there is to it. Now I see that it has the word delete here. I'm just going to check the checkbox and delete it, and that's how you delete a a page, but that's how simple it is to create an existing page, a new page based on an existing page in Joomla. Once again, I'm Hope Kaya, Santa Fe Dash, webdesign.com. Enjoy Joomla.